that currently do not have anybody sitting beside you, you did not buy or did not pay the $10 for the neighboring seat. So please don't block it for the duration of the trip. But you know that I know. When I go set this seat, you're going to take your bag and put it right there in the seat next to you. And guess what, ladies and gentlemen? I don't have a problem with that. But when I get to Macon and all the rest of these stuff, please take your belongings, put it in your lap, and wait till after I finish loading. Now, another reason. I got several seats back there that don't have anybody sitting beside them. I got one right here. Nobody sitting in it. I know that you know when I go sit in that seat, some of you going to jump right there and probably go back. And I don't have a problem with that. But when I get to these other stuff, here's a magic word. Please be back in the seat that you were assigned. If I have to come back here and say something to you about the policy and procedures and you decide to give me lip service, I'm going to lip service you right off this book. After asking you, you might not like my tone, but I did say please go back to the seat that you were assigned. Don't tell anybody to go sit somewhere else. That's the wrong thing to do. Not on my bus. Now, I'm getting ready to play you a wonderful announcement, and then I'm going to come back and give you my synopsis of that announcement. Ladies and gentlemen, you cannot even begin to fathom how quick I want to get you to your stop so you can leave my presence in a safe manner. That's brilliant. You know, when you go to sleep and whatnot, when you wake up, you're going to pee at your stop. Thank you, Mr. Bus Driver, whether you say thank you or not. 23 years I've been doing this job. So you go figure. 